At its core, Project Zomboid is a sandbox survival game where you loot and try your best to survive as long as possible. But what if I told you there's a mod pack that changes up the core entirely? Enter Escape from Knox County, a modded experience based heavily off of Escape from Tarkov, where instead of just surviving, you will take on the role of a mercenary, entering the Knox County Exclusion Zone in order to collect items and make money. The gunplay is great, the threats are large, and the rewards are aplenty. So join me on my journey as I make money, complete quests, and die fighting. I'll be honest, I really wasn't expecting to bring out Claudette this quickly, but here we are, once again, with yours truly joined on another challenge. Anyways, everyone, welcome to Project Zomboid. And if you look around, the environment and starting area is different. Because we aren't playing normal Zomboid, we are playing a Zomboid mod pack which changes up quite literally everything about it. Well, I guess the core gameplay is still there, but the actual gameplay loop is a lot different. So yeah, welcome to Escape from Knox County where instead of just surviving, we are here to make some money and do some contracts, and that is exactly what Claudette is gonna do, if she survives this nightmare, because the conditions outside are extremely bad. But yes, we have spawned inside our small little hideout here, which has a bunch of storage, which is, you know, completely empty right now, we really don't have a lot to our name, beds, and other amenities that I will need to use later. And this is also where I'm going to be spending most of my time if I'm not out on raids. But yes, we can go out on raids, we can do quests, we can buy items, and there's a full-on economy. Matter of fact, if I go down here, we can actually start missions in different areas. But we're not going to do that right now because we have nothing to our name. All we have is a single key ring, which I will examine right now. So I can pop a key in there, a mask, which we will need, because the zombie pathogen in this mod pack is spreadable, and if we don't have a mask, we will instantly get infected and die. And lastly, we have ourselves a bound journal, which allows me to record quests, characters, and other notes that we might have to note down later. There's really nothing else, though. Our pockets are completely empty, so let me introduce you to the storage room. It's pretty bare bones right now, but that will change as time goes on. Though there is one shelf that does have some basic supplies here, which is the shelf right here. It has a whole bunch of supplies for me to take, like ammo, body armor, chest harnesses, water, and rations. And also, on this end, we have more magazines, money, about, uh, ba 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 ba, 5,000 worth, guns, headsets, and a whole bunch of backpacks. So yes, we can equip ourselves pretty nicely, and I think as soon as we do that, we can go head upstairs and show you some of the other areas. For now, we're gonna be taking ourselves a Taiga Machete, a set of soft armor, a very nice chest rig, one headset, an M4A1 assault rifle, and a singular backpack. And already Claudette's drip is off the charts. We look prepared. Especially when you got guns such as this. Though we still need to load up the magazines, in which I'll save that for later. But yes, that is all of the stuff we're going to be spawning in with. We aren't going to be taking too much with me though, because we do have very limited inventory space. Also, if you're wondering what this is right here, this is where we can sell off all of the items we find in raid, right? So if I wanted to, I could actually sell this commando vest for money. Of course, I'm not going to do that because we need it, but yes, this is where we sell off our items, and if we want to spend a little bit of money, we can head up to the top of our bunker to meet some of the NPCs. By the way, this, this mod pack is heavily Tarkov-inspired, and uh, you will see very shortly that the inspirations are a bit on the head. But yes, we have NPCs that we can talk to, ask for missions, and more importantly, trade with money, right? So we can buy Glocks from Mechanic, Shotguns and axes from Jaeger, M16s, MP5s, and attachments from Peacekeeper, Ataz and other attachments from Skier, clothing from Ragman, Soviet weaponry and equipment from Prapor, and lastly, we can get medical supplies, food, and other resources from Therapist. And right now, I have a few things in mind that I would love to buy. So let's head downstairs, and let's go grab some extra cash. And on top of the cash, I will also be grabbing an MRE ration pack, 
and a water bottle so I don't go thirsty. Also, it'd be nice to pack a couple sterile bandages as well. I, you never know when you're gonna need it, right? <laughs> oh, it's so cool. I actually really love how the inventory Tetris mod works in, in, in line with it, right? But yes, we have the money, and as soon as we do buy the things we need, I would also really, really like to um, accept some quests so we can head out and actually get some work done. But yes, first of all, I would really, really love the suppressor, which is going to be worth $343. I don't know if it's the caliber that I use, but I would really like to try. Other than that, though, I think we'll grab ourselves a quick reflex sight. Yeah, that looks pretty damn good. I will say splitting the bills and keeping track of how much money you have is a bit of a hassle, but we did figure it out. So let me barter it away so we can grab ourselves a reflex sight and a suppressor, which is 556. Five, Beautiful. We can slap that on our M16 and we will be cooking. And when I meant it was 556, five, I actually meant it was only for the Steyr Aug. So the stuff we bought is not as useful. That's fine, though. We can we can get more attachments in the future. I don't think it'll really affect our bottom dollar because Claudette is a veteran, so we should be able to get a sight picture pretty quickly. So what I'll do instead is buy a simple uh, GPS right here, and we should be cooking with some gas. Bada boom. Hey, there it is. Yes, yes, yes. With this GPS, I can actually open up and navigate with the map. So it is very nice we have that. And now that we do, I think we're just about ready to get a move on. I mean, we have a basic ration. We have water. We can put away the rest of our money for the trip ahead. I don't think there's really anything else I need right now. Now we're ready to kick some butt. I would grab the pistol as well, but I don't really have a lot of slots for it, though there is one last thing that I almost forgot to grab. The Riverside Tactical Map, which will give me a good view of how things actually are, right? We're probably going to be starting at the church, and our extract point is going to be the warehouse at the end of town. There are a bunch of small areas we can visit, like the hardware store, the restaurant, the medical place, and the school. So yeah! Let's go see what kind of quests there are. I am going to be starting off at Riverside because it is the, I guess, least dangerous. So let's see what each of these traders has for missions. For the first one, we need three sealed bandages. Easy. The second, we need to go to Dinker Dam. That is not going to happen right now. The third needs two Iskra rations. The fourth needs me to access a military crate, which I'm not going to be going to. The fifth needs some gas on Florius, which I won't do. And finally, we have something that I can actually do in terms of location. We need to head over to the Riverside Police Station Armory so I can find a custom engraved shotgun stock. I can do that. And now that we have accepted each of the missions, we can actually pull up our journal here to see each one. It's super duper cool and I love it. I want to make sure we have enough to go around. Let's see here, we got... Three full-packed magazines. I'm going to make that four. We have a machete, and we have a dream. All right, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get this bread. Oh, actually, I'm not ready yet. I do want to grab one more thing, and that's a couple of cloth masks. But instead of actually going up and getting it myself, what I'm going to do instead, this is going to sound a little bit crazy, is I can go and rip apart my socks in order to just make a mask easily. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't question the legitimacy of this, but um, it beats paying like 500 bucks for some cheapo masks, right? There it is, and we can craft up that very easily. Okay, cool. We got two extra masks because each of the masks do have durability, and they do go through very quickly. We have food, we have water. I'm going to eat a quarter of the ration pack, and we can get this bread. Oh, I'm not ready, but at the same time, bring it on, game. Let's start a mission all the way to Riverside. Don't worry, Claudette, you got this one in the bag. Bada boom, we've dropped down. I have no idea where I'm at, so let's go pull out our little GPS coordinator to see where I, I guess, landed, right? Oh, that's, that's prone. <laughs> let's see here. We've landed at the garage area, so I think our extract 
is going to be the church up north then. Yeah, 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 yeah. So right now I think the best course of action is to follow the road down into the town, hitting up the school, moving through, hitting up some other homes along the way, finally the police station, moving all the way towards the church, and getting the hell out of here, right? I really want to make sure that's actually my extract, and I think it is. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get a move on. I'm not gonna use my gun right off the bat. I would much rather like to save that for uh, more risky situations. Instead, we're gonna be going very slowly, very calmly, and very coolly with our machete. So let's see what we got in here. We got ourselves a saw. I have no idea how much money any of this is worth, by the way, so we are just gonna have to take stuff and figure it out the hard way. We got some gravel bags, nothing in there. A dead body with some clothing, some broccoli seeds, and that seems to be it. Okay, let's get a move on. I am a little bit anxious from the cigarettes, but I'm sure that is going to change in the future. Oh, also another thing that is very cool about this uh, game mode is that if I stay here for longer than 24 hours, I will die instantly. So we do have to kind of move very quickly. There is a small farmstead down over there that I might go check out as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go do that, and then we can cut through the woods into town. So, let's see if there's anyone in here. Oh, there was. <laughs> nice try, idiot. All right, we took care of the problem. I am going to steal his watch so I know what time it is, and we can move right on out. All right, let's loot and scoot very quick now. Let's see what we got. We got bandages. We need the packed stuff in order for a therapist to be happy. We got soap, a mirror, nothing else. We got nothing in the bathroom, a travel kit, a plunger, some painkillers, a raw steak, some bleach, a tea can, and a fresh meat patty that I can eat later. A pen, which I can use to mark stuff down on a map, and that seems to be it inside this farmhouse here. All right, not bad, not bad. I can use this place as a bit of a fallback, but now it's time to actually head out. And instead of going through the main area, because none of my goals are here, I think I'm gonna go through the woods down here. Cut through, hit up the school, hit up the police station, and dip out that way instead. We do need to get a move on because it's already 12.50 p.m. The fog is still as high as ever, but I am ready to get a move on. So let's get this bread. Oh, this is actually so cool. It, it really changes up how Zomboid has been played, right? I hope I don't have to use my gun immediately, but if the population is really, really bad, we do have a fallback point. But let's move through the woods very quickly and quietly so I can reach a more open area. Alrighty, we've made it up to the start of Riverside. There aren't too many zombies nearby, which is very good, because there is one last thing I forgot to mention. With the Susceptible mod, each mask you have has its own value, right? And it ranges from extremely safe to extremely dangerous. So with the cloth mask we have on right now, uh, it's not good, right? If I get swarmed by more than like six zombies, there is a chance it just goes through my mask and kills me quickly. So that's why I am kind of taking a very slow and quiet approach instead of just, you know, pulling out my gun and going bop, 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 bop into the populace, right? <laughs> That'd be a very easy way to get swarmed and murdered. I need to take it calm. I need to also take it cool. Also, it's not a traditional 24 hour counter system. Instead, what it does is it goes off my level of disease, right? So the longer I stay inside here, the longer I spend around zombies, and the more I do stuff like eating and drinking within this zone, the more disease I will get. If I reach max disease, I'll die. But if I'm able to uh, head out of extraction, then we can survive for a little bit longer. Okay. Let's follow this fence line down. There is a big group of zombies up there, and hopefully things will go by just fine. We are gonna have to worry about sprinting zombies as well, so yes, we need to keep our eyes and head on a swivel. But so far, it's going pretty damn good. You know, we're making a lot of progress here. For now, it's gonna be a beeline straight to the school. Oh, hello there. Okay, that's what you gotta worry about. Zombies can sprint, and it gets very overwhelming extremely quickly. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my GPS, I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna go check my map. How far are we? Pretty damn close. But sadly, that progress is gonna be halted by a lot of zombies in the way of my goal. There's three right here, and they are the only line between me and the school right now. 
So let's go take him out real fast and move on down. Oh my, I have to say Claudette is a damn champion. <laughs> That's another few zombies dead and dealt with. I will also be taking the jewelry off these zombies because we might be able to sell that for a pretty high price. Ooh, is that a wallet as well? Uh, yoink that. Oh, hold on. I hear a zombie down there. Okay, it looks to be just you. Bada boom, bada bam, bada bingo. We're good. The school should be literally past that fence line over there. And there it is. Well, at least there's a fence line for the school. I don't know how bad it is gonna be inside, but that is the first goal taken care of. So let's go clean out the rest of these bozos here and we can go check out the stuff inside. Actually, before I do that, if you look at my durability right now, my mask is not looking good at all. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna slip inside this small home here so I can reconvene, pop on a new mask and not die a horrible, Horrible death. Okay, are we looking good in here? Because I do need to be very cautious when taking off my mask. All right, we're fine. Let's go loot very briefly, just in case there's something cool inside. Okay, we got ourselves a hoodie. Uh, that's pretty cool. You know what? Let's go rip it up into clothing, and we can use that to make a quick mask. Giving me one to wear now, and an extra for when it hits the fan. The rest of the stuff we can throw out, and we can continue... Ahead. Oh man, it's actually so cool. I, I I don't know how long of a series I'm gonna make out of this, but I would like to see a lot of the quests and how crazy things get when we level up our character and really go out there. Though this game mode is meant to be played in a very high death situation, so you aren't meant to survive each and every raid, and that's why you can respawn in the same area. You just lose all of the loot you come in with, right? Right, but boom we have made it over to the school. Now we can hop on inside and find the nurse's office for one, and two, maybe some books and knowledge that we can use to get a little bit of extra, um, income, right? Right. Hopefully some expensive stuff as well. And already I love the dead corpse right in the front entrance. Right over here though should be the nurse's office. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we got packed bandages? Come on. No, no bandages. No, just a single, whatchamacallit, scalpel. That is a real damn shame. Maybe I can get some good stuff over here at this library though, right? Okay, we got ourselves a book. No ration packs yet. I might have to do these in multiple quests, but if I can complete just a one, I think I would be pretty damn happy. Okay, we got ourselves a gold ring and a cooking book. You know what, I'll take one. I'll save the rest of the space though for, um, whatchamacallit. I will save it for, ah yes, the stock we need to take from the PD. Okay, it is 3 p.m. So I am gonna head outside and get a move on right on down. I really don't want to lurk around here for too much longer. Though I will grab some snacks. <laughs> if there were any, there's none. Okay, let's get a move on then. So far, so good. By the way, these cloth masks suck. Holy heck, I literally just went out like a small amount and it has just screwed up my mask durability. So I am gonna take a break in here and I'm gonna replace that very terrible mask, making a new one out of this extra ripped sheet I decided to carry. But boom, we have made it over and I have not shot my gun a singular time. Okay, we'll go loot this place very briefly. Getting myself a pipe wrench could be useful. I'll put my book in my pockets. And we also got ourselves a whole bunch of washing machines with just pants and other useless materials inside. I'm gonna ignore those. I'm gonna make a beeline over towards the hardware store. I'll see if there's anything like really expensive out of there. I doubt there will be, but you know, it'll be worth a check out. There are three zombies right outside though that I need to uh, <laughs> deal with accordingly, which is a machete. I, I meant I'm going to cut their heads in half. Oh, we also got ourselves a trauma bag in there. Hold on, we might be able to cook with this. Can I fit it inside the bag that I have right now? That's the question. 
No, it doesn't look like I can, but we do have some suture needles and stuff like that. And because I am a gamer, what I can actually do is pop in a bunch of supplies inside of the trauma bag, and we can have nested containers. Yeah, 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 no, we're gaming with this. Okay, I am gonna drop the, uh, the broccoli seeds, so I can pop the trauma bag inside my other bag. Just like that. Holy hell, we're gaming. <laughs> nice. And we've made it to the hardware store. We'll give this a quick little peruse. I won't be here for a long time, though. Let's see what we got. We got pants, a fishing rod, a box of nails. Could be useful. Drop the saw for it, to be honest. Metal sheets, duct tape, and a screwdriver. Screwdriver's actually huge. Hardware organizer, another saw, a tackle box with some fishing line, and very soon I'm gonna have to deal with a horde coming inside, aren't I? Yep, here they come. At the very least, we did leave with an extra trauma bag, which means even more supplies to carry. Okay, let's get a move on. I really hope the stock isn't gonna be too large of a thing. If it is, we'll have to deal with it accordingly. Man, I gotta buy more of these damn machetes. And it looks like we are gonna have one hell of a time heading down to the shoreline. This is gonna sound a little bit crazy. I think I'm gonna just run through the middle of the Riverside Suites, hop over the fence line, and hug the shoreline as soon as possible. The one thing I will prepare for is a sprinter coming out of nowhere, so that's why I have my gun out, right? Okay, we are fast, and we should be able to outpace them at a decent pace. Let's get a move on. Okay, they're fast as hell. We're good, we're good, we're good. Fast and loud, fast and loud. Oh god, no, not that loud though, not that loud. <laughs> Holy crap, we're good. Let's hop on over here. There are so many damn zombies, my mask is about to break. Okay, we need to get a move on, actually. We can't stay here any longer. Oh, I forgot about the mask durability. That's gonna hurt really, really bad. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're out of there. We're out of there. That was a little bit too close for my own taste, though. Okay, let's slow it down a bit. I don't think any zombies have followed me, so I'm gonna hug this very, very closely, and I'm gonna replace this terrible, terrible mask we have right now. Bada boom, we got a new one on. We are as right as rain. And it looks like we ditched those idiots as well. Ho oh, ho, nice one, Claudette. Now all we have to do is follow the follow this down right to the police station. But boom, we've made it over to the police station in one piece as well. Let's hop in. There's no alarms. We're good. All right, all right, all right. We are very close to completing the stock. All we have to do now is find a way in. And hopefully, this zombie here will give me a key. Come on, buddy. You know you want to give it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Bop, 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 bop. No keys. Okay. We're going to be going in the hard way then. Though, before I do that, let's go check out the, the desks around here. Because there is a good chance that we find some cigarettes. Claudette really needs her cigarettes. <laughs> That's why I'm so agitated and uh, jumpy right about now. Sadly, we ain't got any, though. Okay, that means we are gonna be, uh, destroying this the good old-fashioned way. Hold on, is there a visitor? There is. Hello! Oh, is that a gas mask? Well, 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 don't mind if I do take that. Hell yeah, that's good. That's the kind of stuff we need. Give me that bad boy. Okay, we're doing it. We're, we're actually gaming. A gas mask this early is so exciting. Okay, come on. With that new energy, let's, let's bust this bad boy down and see if we can find that stock anywhere around here. We got a whole bunch of nothing in here. A tactical sling bag. How much can I carry with this thing? I can carry about six slots. You know what? I might just keep this as a secondary and try to leave as much as possible. Boom, there's a custom stock right there. Give it. Nice, 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 we got it. Okay, is there anything else in here? No, absolutely nothing. I will check the police car in the back, but I think after that, we're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got everything we, we came here for, right? There's no reason for me to stay. Give me the 7.62 rounds. And does this car work? 
No, I don't think it does, but that is an extra box of 60. We'll take the walkie-talkie as well. That might be worth a lot of money. Okay, we've gotten everything. Now it's time to see what path we want to take out of here. Uh, I think we follow the shoreline and cut down once again. Yep, I think that's going to be the best call. Let's get a move on. Oh, and there it is. Uh, as you see, our queasiness is starting to teeter in and out of existence, and that means we are approaching our expiration date with this place. As long as we don't reach fever, we should be okay, though, and I think we've made fantastic progress with our first run-through. So much so, uh, you know what? No, screw that. I'm just gonna follow this north way all the way until I reach this little cut in here, and then I'll cut right on through, maybe through the street as well, to the church. That's where we want to be at the end of the day. If we get there, we can leave our stuff in one piece. Yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna take my exit at the street. I don't wanna go through the woods, especially when zombies could be inside, so yeah, we're gonna take our exit right here. By the way, I love how the battery is counted with the GPS, so I can't just keep it out passively, or else I might get lost, right? So we do need to keep an eye out for that. Right now, what I need to focus on is killing the zombies in front of me, in which there aren't too many, thankfully, so it should be pretty easy. And when I mean pretty easy, I mean extremely easily. These bozos never stood a damn chance. Oh yeah, we got this one, quite literally, in the bag. That is a lot of zombies down there, though. Is there a gun on you? No guns? Okay, we're gonna ignore you then. But yeah, I feel a lot more confident having a gas mask as my main protection source against the airborne strain. It is a massive relief. I'm gonna try to be pretty stealthy about this because if I pull out my gun right now, it's going to attract that massive horde down there, and that's gonna be ten times worse than whatever we will be dealing with right now. Also, I saw that surgical mask. I will be taking that for later. Oh, there's actually a lot of zombies coming in here. That's fine. Let's keep our calm, keep our cool. If I shoot my gun, I am going to have to drop my bag, which has the main quest item inside, which is something I really don't want to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's all of them. I am going to take it. Please, thank you. Where is it at? Ah, it's here. Okay, cool. That medical mask is a little bit better than what we have. You know what? I'll drop the sterile bandage for it. Okay, last zombie for the day, it seems. Up, oh, scratch that. Second to last or third to last zombie. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, I hate sprinters. Kill you or not. That's fine. We're good. Whew. That one is really close. Yeah, no, those sprinters are no joke. But boom, we've made it in. Let's open it up and let's get the hell out of here. Let's extract. Bada. Ba 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 bingo, please, thank you. Hell yeah, we made it out. Oh, that was a good run. That was a really good run. We got a trauma bag filled with materials. We can drop that on the floor. We got a prep or custom stock for the quest line. We are no longer queasy. We got a walkie-talkie out of it. I want to see how much the walkie-talkie is worth, right? Because we can sell it off here. Oh, actually, I can't sell off the walkie-talkie. We can, however, sell off, like, the box of nails for money and stuff like that. Yeah, we got 25 bucks from that. Not bad at all. How about the painkillers? Another $25, and in the trauma bag, we can't sell... Hold on, maybe I can. Okay, I can't sell the rings either, so we are figuring out what I can and can't sell very, very quickly. Maybe if I drop it on the floor, though, we can sell it. No, we can't. Dang. Well, I guess we'll have to figure out what kind of stuff I can and can't sell later. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I can see that if I go over towards the money thing. Ah, we can, we can. Okay, I'll have to keep an eye out for that so I know actually what to take and what not to take. Anyways, let's go redeem our quest now for Prapor. Actually, before I do that, I should probably have a full inventory so none of the stuff gets put into the void. We can't sell our pipe wrench. We can't sell the tea cans. We can't sell off the books. Okay, there's not a lot of stuff that I can sell off. We'll figure out what I can and can't sell later then. We'll drop off the trauma bag fully. We will go ahead and sell off the 762 by 51 and 54 stuff though. And to be honest, I'll sort through the rest later and figure out what I can actually sell off. Anyways, my man, I have a quest to redeem from you. 
All we gotta do is drop off the item there, confirm it, and bada boom. We can get a reward. We can get $150, uh, some machine gun, or 60 rounds of 9mm. Give me the money, to be honest. I don't really need an extra gun right now. Bada boom! Oh, that's actually so cool! What the hell? Okay. And now that we have done that, we can ask for another mission. So if we go to the Riverside Bank and collect all of the data inside of the main computer, we can get extra money as well. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, this is actually so damn cool. I love the gameplay loop. Also, I think I accidentally bought the MP5. You know what? It happens. <laughs> At the very least, we have an extra gun. And to be honest, I might find a silencer for that before anything else. Anyways, I am going to end the episode here. As we did quite a bit today, and I also need to wipe the map in the actual launcher in order to reset everything. So yeah. If you guys have liked this episode and want to see this become a series, because, you know, I'm still a little bit uncertain, but it is extremely fun, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see all of you later.